Taking a viscosity reading. Start by filling your beaker with the sample material. Air bubbles in your sample can cause high readings. Tilting the beaker as you pour your sample will help limit air bubbles. To prevent air bubbles from being trapped underneath your spindle, tilt the spindle at a 45 degree angle as you dip it into your sample. With the motor off, attach the spindle by gently lifting up the coupling nut on the viscometer with one hand and screwing the spindle on with the other. Lifting the coupling nut protects the suspension system inside the instrument by raising the pivot point off the jewel bearing. As you attach the spindle, keep in mind that it has a left-handed thread. Turn the gear knob to move the instrument up and down until the fluid is level with the spindle's immersion groove. Now that you have attached the spindle, a spindle entry code must be entered. You will find the codes for all spindles in an appendix in your manual. To enter the spindle entry code, push the select spindle button, scroll using the up-down arrows to the correct spindle code, and push the select spindle button again to lock in the code. To set the speed, scroll using the up-down arrows to the speed of choice and press the set speed button. Press the motor on button to rotate the spindle. If you need to take readings at multiple speeds, repeat the same process. It is not necessary to turn the motor off to change speeds. That's it. You've taken your first reading and should now be able to take many more on your own.